Many times in NASCAR, you see the lower series sort of just fade into the background, forgotten for the NASCAR Cup Series. But in 2022, the ultimate championship battle of the NASCAR season took place in the Xfinity Series, and one of the biggest competitors in this was Noah Gregson. Gregson had become one of the most popular and cup-ready drivers in the series, and 2022 in many ways would show this. In the first three races, Gregson rattled off three top three finishes, with two of those races being runner-up finishes. Of course, this led to an early season victory and the blueprints for a playoff run. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. 115 laps out front for Noah Gregson. So good to begin the year, but he's yet to capture the checkered flag. Today, he's going to dust him in the desert. Noah Gregson, the man at Phoenix. Checkered flag. Hell yeah, Noah Gregson. I'll tell you I'm that hungry. outside lane. Earnhardt down low, pushing. Woo. A.J. Allmendinger, Riley Herbst is in the mix, Brett Moffitt is there, everyone behind the nine of Noah Gregson. Come they on, go. three. They're three wide behind Noah. Back up to him now. Start finish line, down past the trioval at Talladega. Here they come. This will finish it in Alabama. Who's it going to be? Down, 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 down. Noah Gregson wins it at Talladega Super Speedway. With these wins and leading laps in just about every race, Gregson was set up to compete for the title. Even with a relative slowdown in performance, the narrative was still championship or bust. But on a hot Wisconsin afternoon in July, the narrative changed. And then they go into this corner and contact again. And now, see this contact, are banging into each other off the racetrack. And now Noah, I don't know if he had a mechanical issue or just hung a right in frustration. And that started this massive crash behind them. In one poorly thought through decision, Gregson basically had put the entire sport against him. While many called for a suspension, he was only penalized 30 points and fined $35,000. Even with the solidified playoff qualification, Gregson and his number nine team needed a turnaround one that they would get at Long Pond, Pennsylvania. Oh, big, big run, right run. Here. No, it went to the very bottom inside, right there. Inside you and him. Did not Still work. inside you and him. Now, as they get ready to go into the tunnel turn, Ty Gibbs on the inside, breaks it on the outside. Who will give? Gregson on the other side gets back in front of Ty Gibbs. What a move through turn two. Gregson all the way down to the bottom of the turn. And he has four car links over Ty Gibbs. It's Noah Gregson winning at Pocono. With this win, Gregson and co. really began their playoff push. The win was followed up by three top 10 finishes, as well as leading almost half the laps in the August Daytona race. But all this paled in comparison to the three races that ran up before the playoffs started. Watch Noah Gregson right here. The nine looking low. Noah Gregson to the close side. And Creed, he pulls the video game move. He's in the wall. Can he keep the front lock? Here comes Noah Gregson. Creed cannot do it. And Gregson will win at Darlington. And once again, Noah is being congratulated by a lot of people, but nothing is official yet. Come on, it's good. Come on. Come on. And now he wants to go out into the rain again without the umbrella. And NASCAR is now telling us it is official. Noah Gregson has won his 10th career race. And it comes here at Kansas Speedway. Just a little delayed from the first time we announced it. One more time around. Gonna have one lap at it, Rick. One shot. What will Brandon Jones do? Will he put the bumper to him? The final time down the back stretch here through three and four. Brandon Jones, can he catch him? No. Noah Grayson wins at Bristol. With seven races left in the Xfinity season, the playoffs began. While Gregson started as the one seed, it wouldn't matter if he couldn't win. 
Luckily for fans of Driver 9, we found out pretty quick just how well he could win. The top eight finish, but it's going to be four in a row. Noah Gregson does it. Now, with this, Noah was through to the penultimate round. With only four races left in the season and his JRM squad looking pretty good, they would look towards Las Vegas to lock themselves into the championship four. While he led 87 of the 201 laps, his JRM teammate Josh Berry would lock in with a win while Gregson would come home second, though hope could be seen on the horizon. The Homestead Miami Speedway, where he had previously run fast for whatever reasons though, he could never lock up a win. Hell, in 2021, he was well on his way to a victory before a lap car took him out. But in 2022, nothing could stop his utter domination. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Noah Gregson, such incredible numbers here in Miami, but has never been able to finish it and get the win. Now, Gregson with a half a second lead and sitting in front of him, a championship four spot. Gregson heading to the Cup Series in 2023, wants to go out in style and win a championship. A win here in Miami is gonna give him a shot with the championship four, yeah, Gregson wins. With that, he was locked in the championship race at Phoenix. All that was left to be decided at this point were the last two spots and the storylines. And boy, were they set at Martinsville. In the closing laps, Ty Gibbs and his current teammate at the time, Brandon Jones, were battling hard for the win. If Jones got the win, he'd be in. But ultimately, Gibbs took it just too far over the line. He's sideways, but he lurches out front. The white flag, one more time around. Jones around, caution comes out. This was a huge moment for many reasons. Starting out, Ty Gibbs was public enemy number one for pretty much everyone at this point. Nobody was really defending him of any note. Secondly, this ensured that the three JRM cars would be joining Gibbs, eliminating his teammate. And third, that teammate was confirmed to be a JRM driver for 2023. No matter how you look at it, Gibbs was the villain and nobody hated him more than Noah Gregson. This all led into Saturday afternoon. For much of the day, Gibbs would battle Gregson and his teammate Justin Allgaier, but ultimately, the pit crews would be in the way a little bit, and much like the season itself as a whole, it would be the 9 versus 54. Noah Gregson felt like he was burning up the right front. The adjustment for him's already been made. Air pressure in one of the four Goodyear tires. Sunoco fuel to get to the end, Marty. Handling-wise, toughest run of the day for Ty Gibbs. There you see that track bar adjustment. Said it was just too free, and the right rear wants to snap out on corner exit. Can the 5014 deliver? Yes, they can. The 54 gauge one critical spot here on pit road, Rick. And a very detrimental stop for the nine. Gregson, five spots on pit road. He to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. What will Gregson do if he's able to get to him? Can Gibbs stay in front? The lap traffic once again coming into play. Gibbs clean off of turn two, down the back stretch for the final time. Gregson throws it into turn three. Can he get there? He's not going to. Ty Gibbs is going to win the race and the championship. And with that, Gregson's full-time Xfinity career would end without an Xfinity championship. Instead, just many close calls, many great wins, but coming up just short. In 2023, he is set to race the number 42 Chevrolet for Petty GMS Racing. A great opportunity. But looking back, many wonder. What if Gregson had had a better pit stop at the end of the race? What if he had roughed up Ty Gibbs a bit at the finish? What if, in 2022, Noah Gregson captured his missing ring?